a like stripper i think she ended up saying that like her male clients or whatever um were obsessed with it, it kind of smells like an icu or something like hi guys welcome back so i have a fun little miniature fragrance haul for you guys anyways i since everyone has been loving my fragrance video i did kind of just on like my body care routine teen and how to smell like delicious edible vanilla and since then i've been like inspired to also just try other fragrances because i'm such a fragrance girl <laughs> i thought i would do a little haul and like show you guys because i do frequently buy samples of perfumes or travel sizes to try out i just don't share that until i actually find something i love but i thought we'll try something different this time and we will try to just share my first impressions and you know things i normally do i just don't share with you guys also i'm packing for a trip and that's why all that's back there but i didn't want to pick it up because i wanted to do a pack with me video so that's why it's laid out like that lots of things going on let's talk about the fragrances i got so i got three travel sizes and then these two are like straight up samples that i wanted to try because there were like sample options i just got these from sephora i do often use like lucky scent or um scent split or like websites like that if i want something that's not really typically sold at sephora or ulta but these are all sold at sephora let's start with the two ariana grande ones i wanted to try just a more affordable perfume because i mean let's be real like you just never know and i i smelled these like one time in the store and i remember liking them let's start with mod vanilla this one i also want to like pick one to take on my trip this first of all i mean you know i love the actual full bottle packaging of it but i the actual sample travel size i don't really like the packaging it just feels i don't know like it i don't like the opaque glass this to me has that same uh like it is vanilla, but the first thing I'm smelling, just like smelling it, thing I'm smelling just straight out of the bottle, I don't want to spray too much, is that, I don't know how to describe it, it's kind of like a plasticky smell, but I actually like the plasticky smell, I think um, it definitely has an artificial scent, I, I can only smell like a musk and a vanilla and that like plasticky scent, I have no idea, um, but let me look up the notes. Top notes, musk, plum, pink freesia. Middle notes, praline and orris root. Base notes, vanilla and cacao butter. I don't know what makes it have that like plasticky scent, but it's very similar to Burberry Her, like that. Um, it kind of smells like an ICU or something, like something a little bit sterile. I also think Baccarat Rouge has a very similar like plasticky note, but I kind of like it. I don't know why I, I do. Um, but yeah, I think I wouldn't, I don't know about wearing this on its own. I feel like it needs to be layered with something for me to enjoy it more. It's definitely a very, very young scent, but at the same time, I like it. It's like, whatever. Sometimes you just want to have like a, not a strong fragrance, but I can imagine being layered with something that it would be really good. And that what brings me, that's what brings me to the mod blush from Ariana Grande because I heard like a lot of girls on tiktok saying that like pairing these together is like really a compliment getter and like is delicious so i'm like okay you know what i need that because this one does smell like it needs something to pair with it and mod blush has like a really straight up like it smells like something i've smelled before from i think bath and body works from when i was 14 i'm not gonna lie but i kind of like it. it has that nostalgia to it it smells like straight up like raspberry or like berry scented lotion that's the only thing i'm smelling maybe a little bit of amber or musk or something but i'm smelling raspberry lotion so you know how lotion has a specific smell even if it's unscented it has that creamy smell to it where like you can just smell it i don't know how to describe it but that creamy smell that lotion has all lotions have it that's exactly what this smells like it doesn't have like an alcoholy perfume smell at all it smells like creamy raspberry which is really good so i want to mix them on my wrist really quick and then come back and smell it in a second also i saw someone recommended 
Happy Dust by Narcotica. Narcotica on my last YouTube video. Oh my gosh, I looked up the notes on that and it looks fantastic. I have to get that. <laughs> like as soon as I use up like maybe one of my samples, um, which I have a few that I'm about to use up, I will get that one in a sample version because it sounds delicious. It sounds like my dream perfume. I need to get it. I need to smell it. The notes for Mod Blush are... Okay, top notes are raspberry. That makes sense. I could definitely smell that. Passion fruit, pink pepper, bergamot. Okay. I can kind of I can kind of smell the pink pepper, but it's like nothing like glossy AU or anything like that. Oh, middle notes are rose, pear, and magnolia. Okay. I can definitely smell like a little bit of the rose. I don't smell too much of the other ones. Base notes are musk. Okay, I can definitely tell about that. And broxen, dreamwood, and sandalwood. So and Broxen is like a weird scent because it's, um, what is it? It's like whale, it's like whale fat or something like that. Or no, whale, no, it's like whale vomit. I don't know. It's, and Broxen is something weird. It might be the artificial version of it, but I know it has something to do with whales. If you use my coffee table as a tripod because I'm going insane with my tripod. It's like falling, collapsing as I'm trying to talk and distracting me. But anyways, let's finish this haul. <laughs> so I also got the Vanilla Skin. Okay, this is also the Eau de Parfume, which is supposed to be, I mean, they, they, they have the Vanilla Skin body spray, body mist, that's like super trending right now. People are so obsessed with the body mist is that a like stripper, I think, she ended up saying that like, her male clients or whatever um, were obsessed with it and she always gets the most compliments and the most tips and whatever when she wears vanilla skin. So I was like, everyone's been trying it and everyone's like going crazy for it on TikTok. So I'm like, okay, I have to try this. Just smelling it in the bottle. Oof, oh my gosh, something in that is gonna make me sneeze. I swear there's something in sometimes perfumes that are a little bit too strong for me. Like it's definitely, it's definitely gourmand. It's definitely giving like an edible, like, I think if you already love Bianco Latte or Kill, uh, not Killian, um, Marshmallow from Kais, I feel like this is just not like, this is not it. It's, it's okay. It's I think it's underwhelming. I'm glad I got the smaller size of this because I'm just not into it. It does kind of have a skin scent though, which I always love a good skin scent. Uh, but I don't, it's not my skin scent. Like it just doesn't, maybe it's just on me. It doesn't pair well. But to me, this is smelling like vanilla with like cinnamon or something. I'm getting a cinnamon note. But honestly, if you want to smell edible, delicious, like compliment, get compliments, but also smell like vanilla, just get Bianco Latte. It's like vanilla caramel. It's the best, which I talked about in my vanilla video. This is like underwhelming for me. Um, but I think, you know, if you want to give it more, more depth, more layers, like layering it with like a good body oil or lotion or something, like you could definitely do something with it. But I don't think it's like amazing. It does smell like you're smelling, you're in a room with someone who's wearing vanilla perfume and you can kind of smell them, their perfume, but also mixed with like their skin scent. That's what it's smelling. It's smelling like I'm in the room with a vanilla girl. That's what it smells like, but not in a way that I like. It doesn't feel like me. It doesn't make me, I don't know. I just, I don't love it. But I mean, of course I'm gonna use it up because I don't wanna be wasteful. I bought this, um, but let me read you the notes. They're on the box. Top is pink pepper. That makes sense because of the skin scent, uh, pink apple and sugar crystals. Yeah, definitely makes sense because it smells so edible. Heart is where the middle middle notes, lily, jasmine, petals, and cashmere. Okay, you know what? I can kind of smell the cashmere. I don't smell jasmine and I normally love jasmine scents and lily, I don't really smell that too much. For the base, benzoin, I don't know how to say that, benzoin. Vanilla, of course, sandalwood, and agarwood. I don't know how to say that either. <sighs> okay, that was a little bit underwhelming. I'm sorry for the disappointment. Let's move on to the last two little samples. These were obviously like free samples when I checked out Sephora, but I was like, okay, you know what? I'll get them because I think this Ellis Brooklyn Suite is new. I think it's new. I'm not sure. 
but it is pear, orris, amber, and marshmallow. And I will freaking love a marshmallow scent. Like, I think we know this by now. Um, let me just give a, give a little spray. I can't tell what it smells like from the bottle. Ooh, my gosh. Ooh, that smells just, that does smell like pear. <sighs> oh, no. I don't like it. I mean, it's not for me. It doesn't smell bad. It just smells like a pear. <laughs> it smells like artificial pear. Okay, well, that was the first spray. I'll let that die down. It definitely... It definitely um, smells fruity. It definitely smells very sweet. It smells like a, a sweet... Like a fruity dessert with, like, sweet... Um, cream or something like I guess that's where the marshmallows coming in but I just don't love like a really strong pear scent so that's just like a personal thing it's okay I think oris oris is a type of flower right or something like that it's okay I don't oof I'm glad this is just a small size because this is not my favorite oof okay I need to stop smelling it oh as it kind of dries down, it smells more like ambery marshmallow, which is nice. But that pear is like taking me out. I'm sorry. I just, if there's any fruit in a perfume, I don't like pear. I think like I like raspberry. I like, what do I like? Strawberry. I like cherry. I like berry scents. I don't like the pear. One is it dried, the dry down makes my stomach churn. Like something about it is too sickly sweet I don't like it now let's spray the Hermes Twilly I sprayed a lot so I hope it smells good oh my gosh <sighs> okay on the very first spray I can smell white floral I can smell tuberose I can smell I don't know something giving it like a little bit of a unisex smell but not really I mean it's still feminine this smells like a really Oh, it's like spicy. Oh my gosh, what is that? I guess that's the ginger, I don't know. Ginger is like very prominent. It's like the main thing I'm smelling and in the background it smells white florally. And I don't really like white floral, like just being real. Anything white floral is not my favorite. I just, something about it is like just too mature for what I like. Like I think the Ariana Grande perfumes a little bit too young for me but then this is like too old like this is not it just smells like my aunt like a rich aunt maybe but not a rich cool aunt like a rich just a rich traditional aunt I don't know I, it's not my not my favorite ginger bergamot orange tuberose orange blossom okay jasmine sandalwood vanilla there's vanilla I cannot smell the vanilla at all it smells it also smells a little bit like sunscreen, like the... It smells like ginger scented cream, like the like the rub-in sunscreen lotion. I don't, I don't like it. Ah! Okay, that's a no too. That's probably the worst one. And then this sweet is the second worst one. And then the vanilla skin is the third worst one. And then the other two... I mean, they're really delicious. Like, this is, like, for a, a day where I'm, like, working from home and I just want to smell sweet and, like, feel playful and youthful. Like, that is what I'm going to use these probably worn together for. As for everything else, not my favorite. Not going to be anything I buy in a full size, I don't think. But I'm glad I sampled everything. And, again, I'm also very picky with fragrance, so... I didn't expect to be like obsessed with anything, but I do, I do need to try the recommendations I've gotten from you guys in the comments of my last video. They sound delicious. You guys, I need to try. Like I will, I will, I promise. Once I like get through some of my testers, I will use those and try out more. But anyway, that's all I have. It's my short little fragrance haul. Anyways, that is everything I got from my little mini fragrance haul. I uh, hope you guys enjoyed. I feel like I should share more about fragrance because I it is something I love and I don't talk about it a lot and I feel like people connect. I feel like I feel like we're getting somewhere with the fragrance talk. So yeah, give me suggestions down below. I'm just I'm very picky. I don't I'm I'm very much a 
I like sweet scents. I, I like fresh scents, but like I, I not too niche, you know? I'm, I don't want to smell like something funky. I want to smell delicious or edible or playful or I don't know. Anyways, I hope you guys enjoyed my little fragrance haul. Yeah, very excited to keep trying these out and get some more fragrance and try them out for you guys. But if you made it this far, I really appreciate it. I feel like this video is super chaotic, so I apologize about that. I'm so excited to talk to you all in the comments. Like, I've been having, I cannot describe how, so much fun chatting with people in the comments. Like, I finally feel like people are commenting and we're just getting to have like little like share our favorite things and you know recommend products to each other and i think that's so fun so keep doing that um but yeah i appreciate all of you and thank you so much for watching and i will see you all in my next video bye guys